Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. I wanted to show you my new Christmas journal. The little gingerbread man and kind of hot cocoa themed. It is made from a bubble mailer and is covered with two different kinds of fabric on the inside and outside. To start with, we have bells and a little Christmas angel and a piece of tinsel. These can be removed, they're on with a bulb pin. We have muslin fabric, sorry silk enclosure. On the outside is kind of a red printed linen. The inside is a heavier muslin vellum that's been tea dyed. Crinkly has that great sound. Got vellum pockets here. It's this hot cocoa, a little cluster, two tags with fabric tabs. And note from the bookmaker that I couldn't decide whether I wanted it to be red or green ink, so I made it both. And that's just a double vellum pocket that they're tucked into. Sorry, silk. Sewn on the edge. Some lace. A little tuck. The card that has a fabric tab. Fabric topper, I should say. Tea dye music paper with some ribbon and then this is glittery ribbon I don't know if you can tell it but it has gold flecks in it a little cluster with a nutcracker or sticker this says festive sentiments a couple tags in this one this is made from a tea dyed envelope I covered the front but you can see the envelope peeking out here more tea dyed edging that I've sewn a little sari silk there is lots of writing space in this book. I have stuff on every page, but there's lots of writing. Paper ruffle. Another little tag with some cutouts. Corner pocket. This is tea dyed paper. And I've stamped snowflake. It's got gold and red. Couldn't help myself how to do a little piece of mixed media. Writing and writing here. This set sleigh bells. So I, of course, it has a little bell and lots of different eyelash trims. A little snowflake on this side. A little sticker stream with some eyelash trim. Kind of matches the ornament, or not ornaments, lights that are on the pocket. Put a little 29 cent stamp. I don't think you can get hot cocoa anywhere in the world for 29 cents. A couple little tags. Writing spots, I guess. This is a supposed to be a sound one, but I think I sewed too much. Has some of that vellum. Different things. Better not pout. It's sewn to felt. And then a writing spot out of tea dyed paper on the back. Lots of sewing. And I left lots of strings. Another little writing spot. Just put a little cut out there and a little fabric tab with a cupcake brad. Kind of matches the gingerbread theme there. Some music paper. This is actually a digital, not real music paper. Tab with some lace on it. Did a little cut out there. This is actually digital and it's so pretty it has like a cluster on it more tea dyed paper and I had two colors of thread in my sewing machine red and green so it gives it a really pretty Christmassy look some sewed on some edging of reindeer there a couple more tags wallpaper with some fabric ruffle little wooden embellishment there I glued on another fabric tab little stamp and it's green it has a Santa Claus in it this is a digital that looks like tea dyed paper some ribbon ruffle some muslin with a per it says a perfect Christmas glued on to this is tea dyed paper it has a really pretty rich color Lots of markings, 
holiday memories, lots of writing area. This paper, this is a digital that looked like it was a scanned picture of doilies, and I printed it on this red cardstock, and I thought it turned out really pretty. Little cut out there, more sewing. There are two pockets here, and I've just put some tiny little cutouts in the front pockets so that you can see these. This one is a pocket, and then there's a pocket in the back. Some little gingerbread men and girl that, that you can write on the back. This is an index card that I did a stencil on. Lots of writing there. Two colors of ribbon in the center and the long string for if you want to add beads. I've got some cheesecloth. It says Mrs. Claus Old Family Tradition Recipe Pecan Pie Baked Fresh Daily. And then this, I did the deckled edge cutting on it. Inked around. Baby, it's cold outside. Old fashioned bakery. And you can either write in it, send it, use it as a card, or put a signature in it for a nice little booklet. Little cutout and a sticker there. Another little cluster with some cheesecloth and a reindeer. It says sleigh. Little tab made from a calendar with some speckled paint. Good tidings. This is made from muslin and some. Can't think of what kind of ribbon this is. It's not sorry silk, but chiffon. That's what it is. Ribbon ruffle. Little pocket here with a couple of tags. Eyelash trim. Lots of writing. And I kind of tried to do a 3D thing. This pocket had a burlap ribbon printed on it. So I put a real piece of the twine on it. I said burlap, but twine. And then the wheels on the train were buttons so I put a button there and a button on this one another fabric tab little pocket with a faux postcard this is the back side of the wallpaper and I've sewn on some more of that chiffon and I clicked on a little charm it's a wreath and some eyelash trims more tea dyed paper Really pretty sewing with red thread. Edging some more tags. This is kind of a iridescent eyelash in with the red. I thought it went with the candy cane theme. More of that collage digital. Some book page ruffle. Do a little stamping. Wishing you Christmas cheer. And this is green. And red stamp on that one. Little fabric tab. A double pocket on this one. Some tags in the back. This one has gold inked around the edge. Kind of carried the gingerbread and hot chocolate theme throughout. And then this is a tea dyed paper that I've sewn across and made a second pocket. Two little tea dyed tags, little mini notebook. This page I have another large writing area. I've done some cuts on the corner. Lots. Wouldn't that be pretty with a metallic pen to write on this darker or scrapbook paper? Little charm at the bottom it says dream. Sorry, silk wrapped in it says dream and then on the back side is some ribbon and lace have more of the red and green sewing and a little faux tag I don't know if that's like a postcard or at one of the envelopes with the red and blue around it has a little sorry silk topper on it some muslin ruffle another pocket some of that gold, sparkly gold ribbon. This opens up for writing. Sorry, silk ruffle. The other side of the envelope. And it has some stamping on this side. Scrap of paper on that side. 
and a little piece of scrapbook paper that's been stamped Merry Christmas has a muslin tab with some black eyelash trim more tea dyed music paper and the very pretty that gold flecked ribbon lots of writing area on this digital fabric tab more of the tea dyed vellum the back page is a fabric pocket that has a stamped gold and red, kind of like a North Star or a big snowflake. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. I've made a little tag out of fabric and it says Christmas Star. These two books, this one I didn't do real Christmassy because I thought you could use it through the year. has music paper, vintage music paper on the back and the front and then a sticker little button says lovely and what it is little glassine bags they all have tags in them different tags with different toppers that there's three of each Some green this one's Christmas tree this one is a star has white topper but my thinking with these bags it's something that here's the gingerbread man and the gingerbread lady. It's something that you could keep your receipts in or list or whatever and tuck it in your purse, your car, and keep it with you. So I tried to make it where you could use it all year and it wouldn't be real Christmassy on that one. This one is a notebook with grungy tea dyed papers. And this is put in with a brad so you can refill this book. I've done sewing around. And again, this is vintage music paper. And the reason I did this was I, I wanted the name of the song not to lose it. And I my book wasn't wide enough to tape it or to glue it across, so I glued it up the side. I heard a forest praying. And on these bags, they don't come out because I've sewn them in. But, I mean, you can certainly use it all year long for anything you could put it in another junk journal with embellishment pieces or you know use it for your ephemera and then on the back I have a sewn piece of ribbon with another writing spot tea dyed paper some felt I made like a patchwork out of fabric this is a piece of vellum that's been stamped Lots of great sound in this. Some packing paper. Love this. And it just tucked it right in the back. I think this has 60 pages. I'm not exactly sure. I will have it in my Etsy shop and all the details. But look at all the goody coming out the top and the side and even the bottom. I love it. But there it is. I hope you like it. I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And if you like this little book, it will be in my Etsy shop. Hopefully later on this today. I just wanted to get the video done before I eat too much and fall asleep. <laughs> so anyway, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.